I think uh, the fact is that uh, given India's population and its rate of growth of GDP, the amount of uh, mobility that is going to be required and particularly urban mobility is going to be very, very high. And frankly, I do not think we are going to be able to solve this urban mobility demand just with building more flyovers and more uh, elevated highways. We are going to have to address uh, a way of having multimodal systems by which I mean somebody is able to take a motorcycle or a bicycle or even a car to a local area, park it, uh, ride in some mass uh, transportation uh, system. It could be metro rail, it could be underground, it could be bus rapid transit system, be able to connect across from one mode to the other, connect from a bus to a suburban rail or from a suburban rail to a metro and then to be able to complete these journeys with uh, effectively the most system efficiency. Uh, what I feel India would need to do is to look at cities like Tokyo where this is what happens. If every commuter in Tokyo in the morning decided to go to work by car, Tokyo would be a complete jam. But the way Tokyo works is that they have this very effective multimodal connectivity which allows some person to ride a local bus, catch a train and maybe keep a car which he will use for weekends or for other um, uh, uses. So, we have to develop this multimodal urban uh, infrastructure. <coughs> During this phase, we are seeing two global trends. One is that demand is growing in countries like India, China, Indonesia and so on. So, demand is growing in the eastern uh, countries. Equally, perhaps related to this, manufacturing is growing in these eastern countries even as global manufacturers are looking for low cost solutions. So, when we find manufacturers for instance putting up a large automotive plant in India, increasingly it is no longer to serve the needs of the Indian market, it is to serve global needs. So, this is true for the case of Ford, for Hyundai, for Nissan, for Toyota and so on. So, I think as the global uh, crisis expands and people are looking at more cost effective solutions, they are forced to look at lower cost economies to manufacture. So, both as, an, uh, as a consuming economy and as a manufacturing co economy, countries in the east like India will play a more important role. I think uh, having uh, been uh, associated with SAE for very many years um, and having been on the board, I realized the role of conferences like APAC, in this case also with FISITA in attendance. I think these bring together people from various countries uh, with various perspectives to address topics that we are all interested in globally. So, I think uh, it is uh, important that uh, APAC 16 and FISITA are here in Chennai for this. I think it gives this global body an opportunity to immerse and interact with problems unique to India and opportunities arising from India and equally for the Indian audience to have a chance to interact with these global perspectives. So, it is it's, it's very important as a two-way dialogue uh, and I am very happy it has happened here. <laughs>